last will um, I know a lot of you guys don't remember this so back in the day you would tribute your giant brat or your flip spy or your decoichi for Zaborg, blow up their monster from Mobius, clear the back row, play last will, get Cyberstein from your deck, pay 5,000 life points, get Cyber Twin, Cyber Twin, twin tax twice, your Monarch tax for game, GG. Um, Makura, no. This is the same thing as Makura. <laughs> this is just, I mean, they gave us this at way after it was banned. It was banned. I think it's called Temple of Kings in Japan. This is, uh, yeah, it's called Temple of Kings here too, but play traps from your hand. Especially on any monster from your extra deck if you send that and the uh, Beast of Circuit to the grave or whatever. Stupid. Cold Wave. Yeah, too much Synchro Cat, Herp Derp. Then after that, um, no, before Synchro Cat, Herp Derp, it was GB Herp Derp. It was Cold Wave, uh, Summon Prisma, Dump Bestiari, Special Summon Test Tiger, Herp Derp Derp Derp, Injure Field with... Um, Gazirus and um, yeah, injured field with Gazirus and Laquari or two Laquaris or mid to late game injured field with Heraclinos and um, Laquari. Now stupid. Frog FTK, enough said. Now this is interesting. People say that Metamorphosis could come back, but you gotta re you gotta realize that with XYZs and Synchros, I mean you could bust out some sick shit. I, I mean I know Ryusenshi and Dark Balter are sexy as hell. But I don't want my opponent going Scrap Dragon, Pop Pop, Metamorphosis into Scrap Twin, and then playing Limited Removal. That's just stupid. And you guys who aren't familiar with uh, T Hero, T Hero is named after uh, I'm, I'm gonna fuck up his name, Teresik Poon Sambat. I'm sorry, bro. I can't remember your how to say your name. But he innovated um, a deck with uh, when Malicious was at three, and we had Triple Metamorphosis. You get your Malicious out, you metamorphosis it into Steam Gyroid. It's a 2200 level 6 um, fusion machine. And then you get, you know, three of those on the field with your Dark Magician, the Chaos. Oh my god, you end the field with um, Cyber Twin and two Steam Gyroids plus Limiter. It's sick times. So you guys complain about the format. So, oh, I wish it was back then because it took skill. There have always been Herp Derp Derp or Derp in Yu-Gi-Oh! That's how. That's what makes the game exciting to some people. The herp derpiness, that the excitement of just top decking that one card or that one retarded combo that wins you the game and your opponent can't do shit about it. You know those self-touching episodes where you just go through this loop for about five ten minutes and your opponent's just sitting there making a sandwich and they turn around and they're scooping up their stuff because they just won. Um, we're never going to escape that. And uh, you know this is one of the cards to contribute to it. Blarg! No, this can't come back. You guys don't like Black Cluster Soldier. People said the Black Cluster Soldier could come back because we have Effect Vader now. We have Solemn Warning now. And now those same people are bitching that Black Cluster Soldier is back. Even though we have Effect Vader and Solemn Warning. Do you really want this? Do you really want your opponent um, opening the nuts on you? Dropping this, paying 300 sending everything to the grave, and then burning you almost for game? Especially if they were able to put a Sangin on the field before it uh, before they went off. So they get a free monster. Everything's gone. You have almost no life points. And then now you're top decking. Now it wasn't as bad back when we had Yadagaratsu. You know this thing here. Because you blow up Witch or Sangin with your Emperor. Go get Yadagaratsu. You have a normal summon jet. Then you drop your Yadagaratsu. Poke for 200. You gotta go to your hand and you turn your opponent can't draw they have no cards in hand GG my friend I wouldn't mind seeing this come back the only problem is um, Konami likes to produce these um, these build your the their these build your, build it yourself themes you know they got the dragons and then the dark worlds and all these other themes that are all one archetype or these archetypes that are all one type and you know he would just obliterate that. So I don't see him coming back. Um, you guys don't like Empty Jar. This card is more dangerous than Morphing Jar and Empty Jar because you don't dump your hand. You just literally you draw cards, you blow up everything and draw cards. Uh, back when Empty Jar um, was created, we had Cyber Jar and Morphing Jar and that deck was stupid. Fiber Jar, um, everything in the grave, hand, field goes back to the deck and uh, you start over with five cards. 
I mean, this card was so stupid. Um, you know, there's basically self-touching FTKs with the fiber jar where you would um, soul release their grave, flip your fiber jar, and then do all kind of stuff, soul release the grave, and next thing you know, you deck your opponent out. Complicated FTK, but this shit was consistent because of all the draw power we used to have. Sinister Serpent, um, I know we have Crow and Kaiku and Necro Valley, but this basically makes cards like Dark Horror, Lightning Vortex, Phoenix Windblast, um, costless. You get this shit back every standby phase if it's in your graveyard. And, you know, the reason why they put costs on those other cards is because they have powerful effects. And this makes that shit for free. Uh, not to mention cards like Bryonic and uh, Dark Worlds or whatever. You know, they can discard shit for free and then get it back. So, you know, you play your Dark World Dealings, you get this back. Dark World Dealings basically is just the cycle card. You draw one with no drawback. Which is a Black Forest. I foresee Sangin getting banned, so I can't see that coming back. I don't want to. I don't want my opponent to be able to search uh, Dark Arm Dragon. You know, <laughs> I don't want my people to. I don't want my opponent to be able to search uh, busted ass cards um, with Witch, so they can't come back. Sukiyomi. I know there's some players that are a lot better than me at this game that wouldn't mind seeing this uh, come back, but I don't know if those players play during the flip flop control. Um, even though she only has 1100 attack, we used to call her the Monarch Killer because they would have a Mobius. You summon Tsukiyomi, put their Mobius face down, run it over, and it runs back to your hand. Or you would have your Thousand Eyes Restrict or your Magician of Faith. You put it face down, flip it back up. When it goes face down, whatever's attached to Thousand Eyes Restrict would go to the graveyard, flip it back up, suck up their monster, and it's just a vicious cycle. And uh, I don't see it coming back because somebody will find a way to break that very, very powerful mechanic. My favorite card of all times, you guys see me on Dueling Network. You may notice that I either have Demok or Utopia as my avatar. Um, he's another FTK enabler. As much as I love him, um, being able to recycle all the busted spells that we have and that may come out um, is just too good. Plus, he banishes himself and it's too easy to go Sarko banish this DDR or whatever to bring him back and I don't like that. Magician of Faith, I know she's slow. You know, at the set of the turn, you can get mind controlled and then your opponent profits. But if they don't have it, just reusing spells are just is just too good. You you need to be able to work for spell you need to be be able to work to reuse cards in my opinion. And uh Magician of Faith, Demok, they prevent that. Well, that was a wrap-up. Remember, you guys, collect those band cards. Observe the sexy artwork. Um, hope I didn't go too fast. But, you know, those are just my brief, brief, brief explanations why none of the band cards could ever come back. I may be missing one or two of the cards that have been banned, but I don't know where they are, or maybe I haven't missed it. If I have, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about these series of videos. Dub K Dad number